Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like and subscribe button to give a shout out to our team. So before starting, we are having one question. So in case if there will be any cyber war between USA and Russia, then what do you think? Who will be going to win? Share your answer in the comment section. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is related to Ukraine. So the Ukrainian Defense Ministry Directorate of Intelligence leaked personal data belonging to 620 leaked Russian FSB agents. Personal details leaked by the Ukrainian body including names, phone number, addresses, vehicle, license plate, SIM cards, date, location of birth, signature and passport numbers. The list was shared on the official website of Directorate of Intelligence, the Ukraine Directorate State that employees of FSB of Russian evolving in the criminal activity in the aggression state in Europe. So according to announcement, all the officials including in the list are registered as resident in Moscow, St. Bolinsky, which is the headquarter of the FSB. Oh, you may check their website for the links. Now the next news is related to Russia. So Russian linked Android malware records audio, track and location. So a pre previously unknown Android malware has been linked to the Terla hacking group after discovering the app using infrastructure previously attributed to the threat actors. So Terla is a Russian state-sponsored hacking group known as known for using custom malware to target European and American system primarily for espionage. The threat actors have recently been linked to the Sunburst backdoor uses in the solar wind supply chain attack in December 2020. Now next news is related to GitLab. So GitLab on Thursday issued a security update for three versions of GitLab Community Edition and Enterprise Edition software that address, among other flows, a critical hard-coded password bug. The cloud-hosted software version control services released version 14.9.2, 14.8.5 and 14.7.7 of its self-hosted CE and EE software. Fixed one critical security vulnerability, which is called CVE 2022-1162, as well as two rated high, nine rated medium, and four rated low. So this is a huge thing. Now last news is coming from London. So the city of London police has said two teenagers has been charged in connection with an investigation into an hacking group. So Detective Inspector Michael O'Sullivan from the city of London police said that. The City of London Police has been conducting an investigation into members of a hacking group. Two teenagers, a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old, has been charged in connection with the investigation and remain in police custody. Both teenagers have been charged with three counts of unauthorized access to the computer with intent to impair the reliability of data. One count of fraud by false representation and one count of unauthorized access to a computer with intent to hinder access to data. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down your feedback. You may subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.